All right. I'm just that's the front of the uh, apartment there, but I'm just gonna be going through the side building, uh, through a side door. On this path to the back. phone is getting wet so I'll try not to spend too much time outside so the unit does have a central air central heating um, so you don't need any AC in the window this is the the backyard area here where the um, where the fire pit is there um, Bluetooth speakers there um, the counter space um, the furniture has been removed that you see in the um, in the photos Furniture has been removed for the winter time. There's a grill that's over there. And this is a grass area. So grass um, is grown in that area there in the back. Okay. Let's grab my keys. Now I'm going through this side door. Okay. All right. And this is a two two family unit. So the other unit is upstairs on the second floor. Um that unit is the owner's unit and that unit will remain vacant. All right. And this is a unit here entering through the kitchen. look and I'll turn on some lights and then continue So in the kitchen here we have um, have the microwave, have the stove. Um, there is storage here on the other side of the island. Refrigerator here. Dishwasher. This is the bathroom here. It's right off of the kitchen. This is a first bathroom. This is a full bathroom. So it has two full baths. Then you have the first bedroom here. I didn't bring my tape measure with me, but if I was to estimate the size of this room, I would say this room is maybe a, maybe a 11, 11 or 12 by 14 feet. Okay, and this one has no closets. Okay, plenty of outlets on each wall. Okay. And right adjacent from this room is a closet here that could be used 
for storage if this unit here wanted to use this area as kind of a closet for them or um, a coat closet because it is in the hallway technically. Here we have the living room, four windows in a living room. Or I should say um, five windows in a living room here. This is a working fireplace. I believe it's a gas um, field fireplace. Okay, and this living room is a pretty good size. This door here leads to the front of the building. Okay, you would go through those double doors there to go back down the stairs. Let me open that up to show. Then we're heading downstairs, the other two bedrooms in there, and bathroom. This door here um, just leads to the control panel, so it's not really a part of the apartment, even though it's here, you know, it's not livable space. Okay, all right, so let's see here. First bedroom is here. The closet in these bedrooms are pretty big, pretty good size. I believe this closet is about seven feet from end to end. Okay. This is a second bathroom right here. Toilet is there. That's the second bath. It is a jacuzzi tub. And the second bedroom here. Now there are some small items left over by the previous tenant that just has to be removed. The landlord hasn't done that yet. As you can see, this is a, uh, this is a standard queen size bed and it was in this room. So all the rooms could accommodate a, uh, a queen size bed. Okay. And this is the closet here. Pretty much almost the same size. This one is also close to seven feet, a little bit shy of seven feet. So it's a pretty good sized closet. Then through this door here, we have the laundry area. Okay, which is right there. It is not coin operated. And this door here to the side 
It's just an electrical equipment door for all the um, equipment that's outside in the backyard. All right. And this door here, this is another entrance to go into the backyard. So there's three entrances. This entrance here, the front entrance, and the entrance to the side of the building that I came in um, when the video first started.